Hi guys, this is Greg Greg, and uh, we'd like to do is review Google Drive with you. And Google Drive is is uh, formerly Google Docs. Um, Google Docs uh, or Google Drive um, usually are found in your in your toolbar above your search um, bar here. Uh, one of the things that uh, we realize is that you know you get a Google uh, Drive when you have a Google account. So let's take a look at Google Drive. Google Drive is a cloud-based program which allows you to have, you know, uh, Word-like documents, PowerPoints, Excel docs, and so forth at your fingertips as long as you're, you know, you have access to the internet. And so, what's really nice about that is that sometimes we have issues with our H drive, or sometimes we have issues just in general, you know, with. Um, and if you're at home, you need to work on something, it really makes it convenient. Or if you're on the road and you want to work on something, um, it makes it convenient as well. Uh, the other thing it allows you to do is it allows you to, you to collaborate with either colleagues or students on one single document, which I find it really nice. Um, and so people can share documents with you, you can share it with them, and then they, you know, people can work back and forth on it. All right, let's go. Let's go through this a little bit. Um, when we're looking at Google Drive, what we find is we find an upload button on the left-hand side, and that allows you to take all existing documents, such as Excel documents, PowerPoints, um, and also um, Word documents, and place them right there in Google Drive. Um, so you don't have to recreate all your stuff. If you want to create things, what you simply do is just select the Create button as I did here and it gives you options it gives you a document it gives you a PowerPoint it gives you a, a spreadsheet and it gives you a survey it also gives you a collection of more options but you know I usually use those four different options um, you know first and then I you know if you want to try something go ahead and try it why not um, but anyways what we're going to do is go back to a document um, this is this is actually Google's Word document. Um, you can change the title by just uh, simply selecting the title and putting a new one in. All right, you see that change there. And now, if you have to go back, just select you know highlight over the new title, and it gives you a little arrow back arrow there. Now, one of the other things that you'll notice in the up top is you'll notice that you can comment on on the page and you can also share. All right, we'll get into that in a few minutes here. So let's just you know type something out. All right, so here's a, here's I'm creating you know some sort of note or what have you. Now, well, the one thing that I can do is I can make comments over here, and I say, I do as well. Person, I am a, I am It's early in the morning, so. All right. So I am very impressed as well. And so... What it does is it'll, um, you can send, you can create your notification settings, and so you can see that you notify me of all these new comments. So when students or people are commenting on your document, I'm getting notified through an email. All right. Now, I can also have the ability to share it, and you need to have the share capability because that's really important. Because that's the that's the one benefit of having a Google Doc is that you can share it. All right. Now you'll notice that you know right now it's private to me. We have to change that because in private means that if I even if I send this link out to somebody, I they won't see it because it's still private. I have to change the permission on it. And you can change the permission by just simply selecting change. And let's do that right now. Now there's three different options. There's public on the web, which is what I would recommend so that, um, you know, people are searching for Google Docs. You won't have 
most you shouldn't have any issues about you know someone finding something or what have you. Um, but you just put public on the web, and then you hit s now. The other thing that you want to do is you want to select either can edit, so someone can go in and change your document, and that may be someone like a peer or colleague. Or they can comment, and this is where students could make comments, or or they could work with you on a certain type of paper, and they can make comments on the corrections that they should be making. So, as an English teacher or some teacher, you know, you're working on collaboratively as a group project, you can have your students comment on it. All right. So once they see the link, they can comment on it. Now. Now this this document is public, so what I want to do is I want to go back in here and it and this link is highlighted. So what you can simply do is just copy that link just like that, and then go to your go to your blog or go to your you know Edmodo or what have you. You can share that, and then students when they open up the link, they can actually see it, and they can actually comment on it or they can view it and make corrections or whatever your permissions allow them to do. All right, so this is Greg Green, and what I'd like to do is have you start creating a Google Doc, have you use PowerPoint, Excel, whatever, whatever documents you have, and uh, we'll see you at the staff meeting with any questions. Thank you.